hello everybody this is Mike it's been a little while since I've done a video this is a little laptop that I've done before this is my little uh, pavilion 360 2 by one and we are going to go ahead and boot it into Linux and we're going to see if everything works okay let's go ahead and do that okay we should show I'm booting from a SD card we should hopefully see a and there it goes hopefully we will see a boot screen soon it's trying I want to see if uh, if this uh, how well this does on Linux and I may consider putting Linux on this or one of my spare computers. I want to see if the touchpad works and everything like that. Alright, there we go. That's the familiar Ubuntu screen. And here we go. Just getting ready to boot into it. I also may consider, uh, um, if I do decide to do a boot with an external drive, I notice that uh, I have a little M.2 internal, external drive does seem to boot a little bit faster than these SD cards. There's nothing wrong with testing though. And here we go. And there we are, the familiar Ubuntu rotating thing there. Let's do a, a control. quit I don't want to check the disk stop it and just waste a lot of time I did hit C cancel let's do it cancel the checks mister all right good good okay this is a touch screen model I want to see if the touch screen works if uh, everything works that I need and we have may have to buy may have a possibility of putting uh, Ubuntu on here or Linux. Right now I'm running Windows 10, but just for the sake of those who don't really want to run Windows 10 or want to try an alternate operating system, let's go for it. Some people actually use Mint, which I hear is a fine deal. Give my little SD card a little time here to uh, boot up. Ah, and there we go. The familiar, and we have January 1st. All right, let's go ahead and I think the touch screen is working. The touch screen does work. Excellent. Okay, so if you have any questions about whether the touch screen works, it does work. All right. Um, we are trying this live. I did not try this ahead of time. So what you see here is my first time using Ubuntu on this thing. And the touch screen works excellent. Uh, and that was one of my concerns. Yeah, so the little pavilion 360 2 by 1 does uh, do the touch screen quite well. All right, let's check a few things out here, okay? I want to check and see how much. Um, Let's try a system ma uh, manager and see how much RAM and whatever we're using. It's not very responsive, but I do blend it on the SD card. Ah, here we go. All right. Resources. Let's go to resources. 
Okay, this machine is running a little N5000. It's not a bad little processor. Pretty good on uh, battery. In fact, let me see how much battery of sand we have right now. 623. That might be a little bit less than what I get on Windows, but then again, it depends how bright you have it. I see that the brightness is actually already in a reasonable letter uh, level. I don't tend to use my computers for at the full brightness. I don't take them outside um, into uh, where the I, they're shining on the sun. If I do end up in the sun with a little tablet or whatever, I tend to hide my uh, screen. So not having a right screen is okay with me. Anyway, so six six hours and twenty three minutes is really not bad. And let's see what do we have for memory here. One point six out of three point four, or rounded up to uh, four gigabytes. All right. Well, basically. I just wanted to see if we can uh, get this to working. Maybe what we should do is see if there's any internet. Okay, let me try whatever, see if we have any internet or if we're going to have to use some kind of external card. That's, that is sometimes you go to Linux you have to um, go to a USB card alright so this particular computer does not have a network setup so that is one thing you have to consider it looks like you do have Bluetooth but you don't have internet without perhaps uh, downloading the drivers Perhaps what you could do is use a uh, USB dongle, download your drivers for Windows, and you'll be fine. It seems to be fairly responsive. Um, it's not too bad. Okay. Once it gets to booting. Anyway, I just wanted to see how uh, this little guy runs Linux. For the most part, it seems to be fine. All right. Anyway, that's all for now. Everybody have a good day and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.